Hello, y'all. We're here at Trader Joe's again. Let's check out this month what's new. Let's hunt it out. Trader Joe's, shop with me. Let's go. Oh my gosh, fall item organic pumpkin spice granola bark, gluten free. Four grams of added sugar, not too bad. Everything is organic. Actually, it looks pretty good. It actually looks pretty good. It has real sugar in there and not too much. Ooh, $4.69. And it has pumpkin seeds on it. <gasps> Very promising. This one is actually a healthier pumpkin items that I saw in a lot of different stores, especially in Trader Joe's. This one only has four grams of added sugar. That's not a lot. And if you take a look, they use the organic coconut oil, which is really good, and organic maple syrup. It's a really good ingredient list and not too much sugar. So we will have to try this out to tell you if it tastes good. Also have this pumpkin in a bar. Pumpkin walks into a bar. $1.99, super full seasoned. Ingredient list, not too bad. It does have canola oil, but it's expeller pressed, which is pretty good. But it has 12 grams of added sugar, 14 grams of sugar. That's a little bit too much for me. If you try to comment down below, is it worth to try? But it looks super full. But this one, the pumpkin spice granola bark may actually be a very promising item because it are only seven grams of sugar and four grams of added sugar. So we may actually try this one since it's like or organic. There's also pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal 379. Let's take a look. 14 things of added sugar. 14 grams of added sugar, that's too much. That That is definitely too much. Maybe five grams, I can take it, but 14 grams is too much for me. Pecan and the pumpkin. Ugh, I really wanted to try, but it seems like a, a lot of sugar for a, a breakfast item. So I'll just put it back. I, I can take five to seven grams of added sugar, but not like 14 grams, that's too much. Instead for oatmeals, I really like this gluten-free organic rolled oats. First of all, it's organic, so it's really good. It doesn't have any pesticides and stuff. Second of all, there is no added sugar and the ingredient list is super clean. And you can definitely flavor it yourself. It may taste boring from time to time because it doesn't have any flavor, but this one actually high in fiber and it's actually really good. Just flavor it yourself and get some pumpkin spice seasoning in there and it should be good to go. Miso Crunch Chopped Salad Kit. Let's try this. This one has chow mein noodles and sesame seeds and sesame miso dressing. It's kind of like an Asian salad item. You can see the chow mein right here. It's basically like fried noodles. You don't have to put it in there. The only problem with this is that it has vegetable oil blend and it's soybean and canola oil. So it's okay to try it once in a while, but it's definitely not as healthy as you think. And it's probably from the dress. I wish it's at least expeller press, but it's not. That's like the only problem with this item. But other than that, it has a lot of fresh wedgies. And we always like that Asian salad dressing because all of the crunchies, the crunchy vegetables and the crunchy noodles. This item is back, but we did not like these. It has a weird texture. Maybe we did it wrong, but we just genuinely don't like it. But it's very low in carbs. So yeah, if you want to eat like low carb diet, maybe get this one, but it has a weird taste. We didn't like the texture. I love this cauliflower mash. It tastes super good. Highly recommend $3.99. The pumpkin flavored Greek non-fat yogurt is back for the fall season. And I think previous years it was a non-fat, but this time it is non-fat, it's 99 cents. But I would caution you that it has a lot of added sugar, but I really, really like that sweet pumpkin flavor. So once in a while, it's probably okay. Seasonal item, just get one. Love this normal kefir. I, I'm not gonna buy the goat milk anymore. The goat milk has a weird aftertaste and it's more expensive. Let's go with the normal plain kefir. It tastes better. And I would say this one, it's really good because there's no added sugar. And if you look at the ingredients, it's pretty good. It doesn't have any added like paraginin and stuff. So highly recommend this item. If you love that drinkable yogurt kefir, get this one. You can flavor it yourself. There's a new item, organic dark chocolate half-coated rice cake things. $1.99. Look at the ingredient list. It's cane sugar and it looks pretty good. 
I bet this one tastes good. Five grams of added sugar, not too bad. You want to try this? We also saw this new item, organic pineapple chunks and pineapple juice. Initially, I was gonna get it, but then it was like, oh my gosh, there is like 20 something grams of sugar. So I just graciously put it back. I guess like if you bake cake, it will work out, but not just eat on its own, so. Hey, Trader Joe's has cauliflower pizza crust. Those are $4.99. Individually sized. Ooh, those are new. Let's take a look at the ingredient list. Looks actually pretty good. Less carbs for sure. So yeah, those are pizza crusts. And they also have the Trader Joe's cauliflower slims. So you can use it as like for your sandwich as a bread substitute. This one, $3.99. Take a look at the ingredient list. Looks pretty good and very low in carbs, very high in protein. So both of them, very, very healthy. Highly, highly recommend. And I love those egg wraps. Like I got it from Trader Joe's last time. It was so good. $4.69 for six wraps, very healthy. Take a look at the ingredient list. Olive oil, which is great. And take a look, very low in carbs, very high in protein, love this. These are really, really good breakfast items that you can get, highly, highly recommend. Watermelon and peach macaroons, it's new flavor. Well, this is a lot of ingredients. It's half carnagenin, 17 grams of added sugar, and it has carnagenin or carrageenan in there. That we're not getting. Yeah, it's not healthy. Oh, not it's not healthy, so no, put it back. Sorry. Those look so good. $2.99. It doesn't have bad ingredients, but it's 9 grams of added sugar. But it seems so good. Spookaloos cookies, caramelized cinnamon spice Belgian cookies. As palm oil, 10 grams of added sugar. This is no good. $1.99. This one kind of looks okay. Sunflower butter cookies, vegan, gluten free, 6 grams of added sugar. Ingredient list looks pretty good, actually. Not too bad. $2.99. Let's try this one. Promising. Organic acai bowl. You want one? Just get one, right? We still have the packets. This one are so convenient. $3.99. Super good deal. It's pretty big. New item, beefless bulgogi. It's not too bad. It's soy protein, I think. I'm pretty sure this one is highly processed and not healthy, but I'm gonna take one for the team and try this out and make a dedicated review video for my vegan friends. I'm gonna try this pork gyoza pot stickers. My subscribers recommended this to me. I'm gonna try this out. The Korean Sigalim pancake is back! $3.99. Oh, I think this one is new. Trader Joe's Korean spicy stir fried rice cakes. This one definitely not healthy. First of all, it has a ton of sugar. But if you find this item in other like Asian market, none of this is healthy. And a lot of the other items actually has like, additives. So I will try this one out because it actually has better ingredients than a lot of the ones from the Asian grocery store. It's 10 grams of added sugar. <gasps> love, love these soup dumplings. They taste it so, so good. Pretty good price as well. 349. Tastes so good, very, very traditional, very authentic. I'm gonna buy these items. Those are basically healthier version of Cheetos because there is no MSG in it. It does have color added, but it's using the uh, turmeric, which is great. So it's not artificial color. It does use sunflower oil, canola oil, which is bad, but, but it's expeller pressed canola oil or vegetable bl oil blend, so it's less processing. So even though it has omega-6, if you don't eat too much, maybe just one snack per week, that's not too bad. If you eat every single day, probably not good. It's still better than the normal Cheetos. So if you have cravings for Cheetos, I would choose these ones than the like Cheetos brand because 
it's a little bit healthier. It doesn't have MSG or artificial food coloring. So I'm gonna get one of those. Oh, this is Brandon's favorite, and it's the last bag. $1.99 sour cream onion rings. If these are made with lentils, it tastes pretty good. It does have canola oil. That's the only problematic ingredients. Other than that, everything else is pretty good. Brandon loves these. Those okra chips, very nice, $1.99. And they use the rice bran oil, which is better than canola oil and has a lot of fiber, no added sugar. I'll get one of those and it's in a resealable bag, but I always eat it in one sitting. And also the rice crackers taste pretty good, but if you take a look at the ingredient list, it does have too many ingredients. It does taste pretty good, but I stopped buying these just because, you know. I love those sparkling green tea beverage. Tastes so good. No added sugar, no artificial sweeteners, no anything. I'm gonna grab two of those. Also, I love those black tea and pineapple tea drink. I'm gonna grab a thing of the pineapple and a thing of this. It's super good because they're flavored with peach juice. So it's like really like natural flavor super good and it has like a very low sugar it has a little bit of sugar but it has enough flavor so highly recommend love this item always recommend the retinol night serum but if you are pregnant or trying to conceive don't use retinol products but otherwise this is like one of the better retinol products that i bought and it's actually really affordable those bread and mozzarella cheese stick taste so much better like these are not the healthiest but they taste so, so good. So what's problematic here is soybean oil, but it tastes so good. Like this is the best of frozen mozzarella cheese stick I've ever had nicely seasoned. You guys recommended in my last video the Trader Joe's Instant Boba Kit. I finally found it and let's try this out. It's $5.49 for four packs. I just want to say the boba itself, it doesn't worth that much money. I feel like it's just the fact that a lot of people don't know how to process it and they marked up the price a lot. So it's like $1.20 per pack. It's actually a really good ingredient list. 18 grams of added sugar. It's the same as the one in Costco. Well, my husband loves sugar, so <laughs> this is definitely going to be his favorite. Hopefully the texture is good. We'll make a video reviewing this for sure. They also have mango cream bars. This is new. There's so much sugar, guys. Not healthy. This is too much sugar. <laughs> I would back. say 31 grams of sugar per bar is pretty crazy. Ube mochi ice cream. 79. Ooh. We've never had this before. Nine grams of sugar is actually better than the macaroon that you were gonna get. Let's take a look at the ingredient list. It's actually not too bad. It doesn't have carnadinin, which is good. Yeah, this one, I can actually get on board with this. Let's try it. It doesn't have the carnadinin, which is bad. So let's get this one. They have the raw almond butter these days. Just a raw almond. <gasps> So these are not roasted, if you prefer them raw, that's a new item. And we also have the creamy noster peanut butter. Finally, I believe that we tried this maple leaf cookies last year. I remember vividly, it just tasted like sugar cookie with a lot of sugar. It does have palm oil, which is not the best, but it does have maple syrup. I would say sometimes maple syrup, syrup just tastes like regular syrup. So I'm going to skip it this time. But if you've never tried it, it's not bad. Actually, it, if you like sweet, like sugary cookies, those are good, but not healthy for sure. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and stay tuned and subscribed for my coming taste test haul and other food review videos. And I hope to see you next time. Thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.